one of the best exercises for your lower body in terms of development, strength, speed, and function. Up there with squats is the sled. All right, we got to talk about the sled again. Please, you know what? Please, can we get a sponsorship so we can get paid for you I pushing know, the sled so I hard? I know, dude. There's not a specific <laughs> sled, you know? Well, I've, dude, we've talked I've, about the sled like at you're least. You're reiterating like, what I've been trying to be an evangelist for forever. Dude, you know how he is, though? It's like he he waits forever to do it until it's like on his terms. Yeah. And then once he like, right. Yeah, but then he's got my What back were we just finally. talking about? We were talking about something the other day that you were like really enjoying or you're liking. And I'm like, I've been trying to get you to do it forever. What was it? We were just talking about it yesterday. I don't remember. Game of it, Thrones. No, no, no! It was something. It was something else. That was Forever. Something. Oh no! It was Twitter. Oh uh, yeah! So he right. comes in. He comes in the studio. Dude, this is made for me. Okay, he comes. In the, I knew that he, already. He I comes don't want to do studio. more. Studio, whatever, bro. You come in the studio. So, like, maybe two, three years ago, I was like, Sal, bro, you were made for Twitter. You shouldn't even be fucking with Instagram. Like, it's totally for you. You always have all these thoughts, and you're you should just be putting out tweets all day long. I said you'll blow up. He did it for like five minutes, and then fucking didn't mess with it after that. After Instagram kicks him off, now he's on, and he comes in the office and say, "Bro, yeah. Twitter yeah. was made for me." Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I, you know what? I didn't want to do more social media. I was over it, but now yeah. that I got kicked off Instagram, yeah. Yeah, now you can focus on it, right? Now yeah. I want. Now I'm just pissed off. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. but back back to the sled. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It, had you asked me five years ago, name your top three lower body exercises for just you know overall development, and strength, all that stuff. <laughs> I would not have put the sled in there. I don't think I would have put the sled even in the top yeah. eight, maybe. Very underestimated. <clears throat> it's super underrated. But now, for sure, it's up there. And it's up there for a few different reasons. One, it does build a lot of muscle and strength. It's a great hypertrophy exercise. But the main benefits of it are doesn't damage your body at all like other exercises. So you can do a tremendous amount of volume and frequency with the sled. The injury risk is really yeah. low. The damage and soreness, uh, you know, issues are really low. So it's like it's, right now, what I'm experiencing is the more I sl do push the sled, the more fit and strong and muscular my legs. It's get. so complementary to all the other compound lifts, and um, yeah, like you said, building up the volume and the work capacity. You know, so for athletes, uh, I that was like my go-to mm -hmm. was to get their legs strong and then also have them on their forefoot. Uh, instead of always, um, you know, back on their heels for squats. So, you know, building that foot strength, there's lots of benefits that, uh, you know, you don't really realize from it. Well, do you think why that is, is because there's not a lot of things that you can do for your legs that, that take out the centric portion of the exercise. 100%. And yeah. so yes. you're not doing as much, but you can load it like really heavy. So similar to like Olympic lifting, right? Yes. So that's about the Except only Except Olympic lifts are so technical. Well, right, right. Yeah, Olympic lifts. And that, maybe that's what it is. So what a great way to to, to draw a, um, maybe like an example for the, the audience. Like why the sled is so awesome is you get similar type of benefits in Olympic lifting, but it's extremely technical. I can teach a... 80 year old lady to push a sled. Yes. So she can get some of those benefits that mm -hmm. you, that some advanced athletes can get from Olympic lifting. She can now get with the you sled. Need, you need minimal mobility <clears throat> for a sled in comparison to other very effective lower body exercises. Like it's very natural squat. as far as teaching, right? I very mean, easy yeah. to teach. Uh, if I train a kid who's never worked out before or somebody who's got issues with, you know, mobility, we can usually do some form of the sled. Um, it's, you know, split stance. So it's very natural for athletics. And I would have never guessed the muscle development would have been so incredible because of the lack of the negative. Now it is true that the negative portion of exercises is one of the most effective, you know, muscle building aspects of, of a rep. However, if you, if you add lots of volume and frequency, which, which you can do when you don't have the negative, right? When, without the negative portion and the safety of an exercise, like a sled, you could do it more often and more frequent. So I literally can push the sled for four sets three days a week. And it I have no I don't feel anything on my joints on my body like I would if I did any other lower body exercise, but I still get like this great muscle building and strength effect from it. I, I can't believe I underrated it for so long. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's definitely up there. So yeah, you were you you this whole time you, and the problem, Justin, is that you uh for me at least was that you sold it so much as a functional exercise, which is uh, very true. Yeah. Uh -huh. And for hypertrophy-minded people like me, which I tend to be also, it makes me kind of discredit a little bit. Like, okay, yeah. I like the function aspect, but... Well, that was the main focus of, I think, when um, a lot of... When you see it in the gym, like only like your functional athletic type, yeah. uh, you know, coaches and, and uh, you know, athletes in the gym were actually using it. So, yeah, there's so much more... 
um, it, it translates so much more to other avenues like hypertrophy and, and other pursuits that uh, I think you're going to see a lot more people trying to figure out how to incorporate in their program. Yeah. And side effect, by the way, you push the sled, you your calves grow a little bit too. Yeah. Not very many lower body exercises will do that. Yeah. It was one of the uh, it's one of the things that I did to keep the my volume up on my legs when so men's physique there's no benefit to me getting like massive legs but I cared personally about keeping my leg size because it was something that I was working on for so long so when I switched over to getting ready to compete for men's physique where I'm being judged by mostly my upper body and maybe a little bit of my calves um, I didn't want to lose size on my legs one of the ways that I kept the volume up was because I was so focused on all the upper body type stuff was to keep driving the sled on a, a regular ba mm -hmm. basis like I loved it so as a uh, hypertrophy guy at that time I actually use it a lot like that and there's a lot of we had some old videos when we were at the other um uh what what gym was that oh um, that was a uh, club sport or whatever there for a little yep. bit, yeah. yeah I don't know if you remember or not but th that was back when I was competing yeah, I used it quite a bit I used it a lot yeah. in fact <clears throat> one of my favorite exercises that we and we don't talk about it that often and replacing leg extensions is to drag the sled backwards yes. is to drop down at 90 degrees just so i'm basically i'm simulating like i'm si like i'm sitting down right but i'm yeah. holding the sled and then to walk backwards oh it's it's all quad like, oh all quad yeah. just would get a, a massive pump from uh -huh. that and feel so good and you're doing something that's functional so yeah, I love doing uh, this, and Justin really got me doing it into the, like the sled slide side drags and things like that, which I needed to do more of those, like doing it like karaoke yeah. style to the side. But there's so much that you can do for your lower body with it. The only obviously the drawback is not everybody has the um, you know the, the, that much room to do that. Yeah, right? well, you, you know, I didn't most know this. gyms don't now have it, so they do. But I, I didn't know this, so you could buy a sled; they're relatively inexpensive, but they're usually <clears throat> the ones that slide. So mm. you would need like grass or something smooth. It's hard to do it on the street or you your push it on the street though, don't you? I, I do at home. I've, I've seen you push I don't it on give the street a shit. before. <laughs> but just I didn't know this. Dude, that, that asshole neighbor, yeah. it's fucking six o'clock in the morning, you hear this. <laughs> That's, that's me. Yeah. I can just imagine living next to you. <laughs> I got a long ass driveway too, so I'll go up and down it. I, I remember, you, I remember the first time I seen you doing a video, and I thought this this motherfucker gets up at six o'clock in the morning and trains. He's got. This, I mean, this is back when you were living in the townhouse, yeah. and I'm thinking. You got people right next to you. And they they got to hear yeah. this sled track. Hey, you know what's funny? Yeah, hey, you know what's funny? A couple times, this is true. Get it done, man. A couple times, a neighbor walks out because I know they hear me. They walk out and what do they see? Yeah, big, they white big beater. sweaty yeah, dude. big white beater guy. Yeah. What's going to yeah. say? Push the sled. So, like, oh, go guy back comes inside. out in his hey, rope. I, uh, oh, anyway, carry yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And they walk yeah. back inside. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty hilarious. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.